time, especially when the Pope, it was something very special. Tell me about that. The Pope came here? When he came to San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband had a wholesale floral. I had the retail. But we uh, were called on to coordinate the, the uh, decorations of the cathedral. And that was such a big honor, you know. And we have pictures of us working at the flowers. It's the main one over there. And of course, their Pope is over there at the cathedral. You can see the uh, back back there. Yes. Uh, back there. Right behind me, yeah. And uh, there's a, like a, a, a sun shining on him. Mm -hmm. And he's kneeling at a table that I fixed with the gardenias. Wow. It had about, maybe about 200 gardenias all of And that's what he was praying there at the cathedral. What a And of course, you know, he met a, a lot of important people. It, it was like such, so beautiful, you know, we just enjoyed it. What a memory. Very, very much. What a memory. And well, you were telling, will you tell me again what you were saying about the photographs and it, that's in 1930, uh, uh, about 32. And then that's the area that was in front. That's a, just a stand with big buckets of flowers, if you can see. And I remember my mom used to, we used to have one of those tubs. We had our special tub to take, they bathed us in those tubs. Oh, they bathed you in one of the tubs? <laughs> it was something comical, but she said, well, I had to bathe them somehow. And, you know, it was rough on us, on the family. But it was fun. And, and it, so originally this was a house where you lived and sold the flowers? This, this is where I was born here, too. It's just a one room in the kitchen. It's still, the kitchen still exists. And the, uh, the main room was here. So we had converted it into our work area and we built up and when I got married, we had an apartment built up there, beautiful. That's great. So what else could I say? I mean, it's, everything's been so, we've had a lot of friends. I worked for KCOR doing commercials. You did? Jingles, I used to sing oh. and I, I was there since 1962 to 1986 wow. at KCOR, Do you doing the commercials, you know, singing. And it was a lot of fun, because I'd run from the flower shop to the radio station to do the commercials, run back, work. And were they commercials for uh, the flower shop? N no, commercials for Buttercrust, Westside State Bank, Coca-Cola, uh, different companies, you know, that they called, that would call me, the manager would call me here and then ask uh, if I was ready for a commercial, to do a commercial. And uh, I'd run over there and do the commercial, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Wow. And do you and remember any of the songs? I, I, I remember the... Uh, salsa contadina, hecha del mejor tomate. Salsa contadina. Who's a salsa in su cocina? No, my voice is really gone. But uh, that's one of the main ones that, that is, was I did. <laughs> oh, I love that. And I heard in, in San Francisco, I got to hear one of the commercials, which was uh, Rice Aroni, the San Francisco is in Spanish. In you know. Spanish. It yeah. was from English to Spanish. And they would convert or, uh, to Spanish, you know, those, English commercials. But anyway, and this was a lot of fun. But you sang the rice roni one? Yes, I did. did? Yeah. And I heard it, the commercial, I heard it. And in San my brother lived in San Francisco and I heard it over there. And I heard another one in Mexico. Salsa Contadina, that's the one I heard in, mm -hmm. in Mexico City. Oh, how fun. And I was, my goodness, I said, they have big talents over here. Why? They picked me. I was very lucky. That's great. Very. They were lucky. They were the lucky ones. Yeah. It was always meant a lot. I, from school and 
Where did you go to school? I went to Edgewood. Okay. Edgewood uh, mm -hmm. from kinder, elementary, junior, high school, and I graduated from there. So that was just for us, just for a little uh, college uh, that I went to Drums for a business college, mm -hmm. just a little bit. But that was about all my education, just. Mm -hmm. But I was lucky one time they, I got into an amateur program uh, singing. So they heard me from the radio station and they asked me to, to do some commercials for them. Oh, that's great. I was stunned, you know, surprised. I said, well, okay. And uh, I used to sing alongside of Rosita also. You did? We used to do commercials also. Mm -hmm. We did Coca-Cola together, her and her daughter too. And it was just, um, it, I, I don't have the words to say how happy. Every time they call us, even Henry B. Gonzalez, at one time I was making a commercial and he goes in there and he's, he listens to when they were recording me and he's listening to me. And then he looks at me and he says, <laughs> Thank God. I mean, like I said, I was very fortunate, lucky. Yeah, that sounds like a wonderful time. And yeah. Pretty volleyball from school, from Edge, from Edgewood, and from Our Lady of Good Council Church, mm -hmm. from Guadalupe Community Center, and from the city mm -hmm. also. You were very active. Very, very much. Wow. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, got married and. In 77, 1977, and a beautiful husband who passed away five years ago. Oh, but anyway, it was just beautiful. Uh, I got married, I was 45, he was 51. So my regrets that I'd give them children. I wish I'd oh, at least one yeah. child. Yeah. But we had our share of children. I had a sister that had 10 children. Wow. Which is Sylvia's number three of 10. Wow. So I had my share. You had your own, yes. And I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them very, very. My husband did too. On his side, he had a lot of uh, nieces and nephews also. And your husband was from San Antonio also? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, and here I still am. I'm still am. 